No wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing, and you're all just here what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you and your crew be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done. Or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. My crew isn't lifting a finger until my man is found. <sighs> Can't believe I bought into this place's crap reform program story. Because I'm not the one whose job it is to keep this place secure. I'm just the guy who thought I could trust the people giving us this job. Don't know, huh? The staff, they're all ex-cons. This place we're building is gonna be some kind of resort to rehabilitate other criminals. <laughs> Teach them how to strip ship engines or type 40 words a second or whatever to keep them from having to commit more crimes. A couple of them already went through the training. Now they want to get this place done to turn out more students. Why does anyone take any job? Credits, and these folks have plenty. But I mean, come on. What they're selling here? Fixing the settled systems by giving criminals career training? You really think the Crimson Fleet are just one typing course away from becoming model citizens? Never been on the receiving side of a visit from the fleet, huh? And look, I know some folks have a tough out there. I've employed my fair share of ex-cons over the years. But you know how they turn their lives around? They did their time and got jobs instead of making the same bad choices again. Those are options everyone's already got. No retreat required. You are getting lost in the method, despite your goals being aligned. Yeah, but the pathway to that goal matters. If they're all here just sitting around learning a trade, just like they would on a job site, huh. Maybe... Maybe you got a point there. But I'm sure you didn't come here just for a debate. Let's talk about something else. I'm supposed to be the construction foreman. It's my job to make sure the Helios retreat gets built to whatever standard these folks want so they can run this reform program or whatever. But it's also my responsibility to make sure my crew can do their job safely, which sure as hell isn't the case right now with one of my people missing. So right now, I'm just waiting. Oh yeah? <laughs> It can't be worse than the situation we're already in. The boss, Sloane, she's heading up the manhunt, if you can even call it that. Talk to her and she'll get you up to speed. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You agreed with me that true purpose can be a driving force in life. I found that comforting. But something has been nagging at me since. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. That there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it.
doubts have never been something I would consider. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... Thank you. I appreciate the reassurance. But I would like to try. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. We were taught from a very young age that family always comes first. And no price is too great to pay to ensure its survival. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios Retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues, a missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. Well, at the moment, it's primarily a collection of shipping containers and unused construction materials. But the plan is to make this place into a growth and education residence for the galaxies incarcerated. We'll offer job training and a support network for folks that otherwise just while away their days in prison just because they didn't have the credits to pay their own bounties. Get them all the tools they need to set up regular, boring lives like the rest of us. I know it can work. Have the notation to prove it. We did an 18-month pilot program before we started setting up shop here. We're happy to now call two of the participants employees of this very facility. They just needed some help getting their footing. And once this place is open, we're going to expand on that success. Well, thank you. I'm always striving to make my presence in the universe a net positive, but still got a lot of ground to cover. But I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to listen to me blabber. You're probably exhausted. Monica should have any supplies you might need. She's just out front of the main building, and our ship services tech is out near the landing pad if your vessel needs some tending to. And if you need anything else, or just want to talk, you come find me. If you can believe it, I was Crimson Fleet, scouring the skies for loot and glory. Ended up finding a hefty prison sentence instead which, honestly, was probably the best for me and the galaxy at large. You'd expect right, even at the best of times. But I'm sure you didn't come here for an ancient history lesson. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? But well, once we officially open our doors, the retreat's going to have to be a lot of things to the formerly incarcerated folks we plan to bring here. Residence, school, a place for reflection. Nevin, he handles everything infrastructure related, while I take care of everything our residents might need to get them moving along healthier paths. 
I make sure we've got the facilities to support everyone. I arrange all our occupational training. Even got my counseling certification a few years back so I can serve as a compassionate ear when people need it. Well, like I mentioned, the retreats are a modest attempt to change how the galaxy deals with those who find themselves on the wrong side of the law. Once we're open, the goal is to take in people whiling away in prison because they couldn't pay their bounties. We'll get them job training and a support network. All the tools they need to set up regular, boring old lives just like the rest of us. We're trying to do what we can to help those who need it. That the truth? Because I can't say it's gonna be easy work, but if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. Well, he was last seen a few days ago, so we don't think he could have gotten far. We sent our lone security officer to find him, but things didn't go according to plan out there, and now he's taken up residence in our infirmary. So if you're offering, we'll absolutely take the help. This planet is not the most accommodating to human life. It's wild, empty, and the local fauna, well, they're not big fans of humans. So while I will absolutely take your help if you're offering it, I just want you to be aware, I don't expect it's going to be a walk in the park. You don't know how happy I am to hear it. First things first. You want to speak to Greg D'Angelo, our security officer. He was wounded searching for our worker, Mr. Kilman's trail. He should be able to get you pointed toward Kilman's last known location. Uh, who are you? Can't a guy heal in peace? I got gored. Was out hunting for this dimwit construction worker when something comes charging out of the overgrowth and puts a horn or a claw or something in my gut. I never got a good look at it, but it must have been huge because it laid me out. It took me six hours of crawling to get back here. So unless you need something right now, I'd love to get back to closing up the hole in my torso. Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, ugh, you'll have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixil's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. Uh, I'm sorry. Are uh, you lost? Because if you're here to enroll someone, I'm afraid we're having a... just a minor crisis. And it's going to be a while before we're evaluating any applicants. <sighs> Where do I begin? It's been... a cascading series of issues. The most recent is that one of our construction workers has gone missing, and attempts to find him have turned up nothing. Which is what this retreat is going to be if we don't manage to find him. So, I hope you'll understand why I can't take your application at the moment. This is, well, will be the Elios Retreat. Someday we hope for it to be a bastion of education and growth for some of the galaxy's most needy. It's incarcerated. That, however, is feeling more and more like it might never happen unless we resolve our current crisis. So it might be best if you just moved along. Oh, that's awfully kind of you, but... You know, we could use some more manpower, actually. Speak to Sloan. She's been taking point on the... Well, uh, she'll be able to explain it all. Ah, I am the sole exception. I was a neighborhood administrator for years in New Atlantis, was tasked with maintaining the well section of the city, home to many of the UC's most underprivileged citizens. I saw firsthand what havoc the bounty system could cause in a neighborhood. Parents in prison, money funneled away from basic needs. It can become 
a cycle. Here, we hope to give people the tools to escape it. Ah, I'm the facility's chief administrator, co-head of the whole retreat with Sloan. She handles most of the resident side of things. Making sure we've got the right people for the program, and those people have the right tools to succeed in their own development. I keep the lights on and make sure things hum along smoothly. Which has been harder of late. Currently, very little. But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development courses available for our residents. Most of our staff are formerly incarcerated themselves, so we hope to be able to provide a level of service unlike any other in the galaxy. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say, just please, not the bag. What happened? You're... you're not here to... I... I was kidnapped. He caught me off guard after hours, threw a bag over my head and marched me off. But I escaped. But then these creatures started hunting me. So I ran in here, and I've got no food, and I'm so hungry, and... Please, take me back. I just want to go home. No. No, he kept the bag over me the whole time. I heard his voice, but he honestly didn't say much when I was around. I'm just... I need this to be over. Please. Please, can we go? Please? Oh, thank God. You don't know what that... Oh, come on. Let's... let's get out of here. Mother of God, kid. What happened? I was walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks bagged him, huh? Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You're rambling, kid. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown. I have some medical training. I'd be happy to... You stay away from me. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with, understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Ah, uh, I... I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? Thank the heavens. So, we just need to figure out where we're sending you. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. I want to believe none of them would, but I've been around long enough to know how easy it is for someone to surprise you. So honestly, I don't know. But I think those hints Kilman mentioned about the kidnapper's refuge are the key to figuring it out. That's right. Not a lot of proper facilities like that in the area. Which makes me think... There is a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here, the facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm, it certainly is. Monica, 
Anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents. The kidnapping. Greg's attack. These two. They did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not... with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names. But there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. Trackers? Consider yourselves lucky to still be alive. It appears we have been fortunate. But it does beg the question. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's computer hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them that clearly aren't, but that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent, well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the Great Beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. Ah, uh, thank you again for doing this. I'm counting the moments until it's all over. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Did I mention thanks for taking these two on? Mm-hmm. Most of the staff here are. Got me for digital intrusion and grand larceny. Was in a bad place. Needed a lot of funds. Fast. So I hacked a couple Galbank servers. Had maybe six years left on my sentence in Aquila when Sloane and Nevin swooped in. They said they'd pay off my whole bounty if I ran through their pilot program. I didn't have much else going on, so I said sure. It was hard work, but Sloan. The woman is compassion in human form. She stuck with me. And now I'm here, running the retreat shop, and maybe someday one of my own. Sure did. Anyone who commits to joining the program gets their bounty paid off by the retreat. 
Not sure who's footing the bill, though. I presume it's coming from outside donations, because Sloane and Nevin aren't exactly rolling in cred sticks. I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with these trackers. You don't get into their line of business without a vicious streak. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios. Put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. It is a reasonable request. You would do well to consider it. That's so. I... I guess that's a good point. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. But you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person. Hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. No, no chance. 
They took as much of a beating as I did. While outnumbering me, three to one, I'd like to point out. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. We're happy to help. Thanks. That should get me home. Good. There aren't many of us out there. So it makes all our lives easier when we can help each other out. Now let's talk about those outlaw ships. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Light armaments, not too fast. Pilots are gifted amateurs, but still amateurs. You'll be outnumbered, but they'll be damaged, which should even things up for you. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. All right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard, boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> you get it then. So, I just got assigned to the Markab. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but he may not give you any choice. The company is, well, <laughs> a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. A member of the Trackers Alliance. You know, bang bang, dead or alive bounty hunters? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Welcome to Hope Tech. How may I help you? If you have an appointment with Ron Hope, he's on the top floor. He's very busy, so if you don't have a meeting scheduled, he may not be available. Miss Anaya can take care of you. She's to my left on this floor. You get the credits. We got what you need. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? Oh, a potential customer, huh? Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines with Hope Tech. You get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. A smart person chooses substance over form every time. Sound familiar? So what are you in the market for? 
I worked the freight lines flying a Hope Tech ship for near a decade. Gertrude saw me through plenty of scrapes and just hard travel. Hope Tech ships will save your life. They did mine. Our motto is, they're trucks in space. And captains pushing freight through the systems are our bread and butter. But Hope Tech builds solid. A lot of formidable scout ships and even military rigs use Hope Tech. So what we need is Argon. The request is for a large quantity. 5,000 units of it. Excellent. This invoice has the details. Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. A lot of my business is with travelers. Hope Town's the only patch of civilization anywhere near here. So I have to stock things that hit a little bit harder than home defense. There ain't any handouts here. You need to protect what's yours. But if you do, you can be your own person. I'll take that over being a corporate drone any day of the week. I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming and going all the time. A good place for business. Do you agree? Discretion is a trait I highly value. I have a small package that needs delivery to Aquila City. I need someone discreet. Not too many questions. Illegal is a strong word. Here in Hopetown, I have taken care of things. In Aquila City, a much different story. I ask you, should smuggling really be a crime? Does it matter? Truly? I know little about you, you know little about me. This is the way I like it. Speak your mind. I think we can work something out. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. If you must know, let's just say the Trade Authority fully approves of this endeavor. I will say no more than that. The package is contraband. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. If your ship has space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. Can you handle a job like this? Shielded cargo space. Lots of it. Much more than you need. Makes things easier to hide from scans. If you can acquire a signal jammer, those are good too. That is a question I cannot answer, and the container is quite secure, in case you were curious about that as well. Deliver the package to Tom Sterrett. Just drop it off, no discussion, no questions. This would hardly be the first time I engaged in such an activity, but usually I am familiar with at least someone at one end of the process. Do not get caught. Goodbye. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? I'm sure they didn't want to die any more than you did. It's a pointless and stupid waste of life, but they brought it on themselves. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. 
I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea. Provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember? It's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now. The Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good Any to see changes you. on the next order? Forget I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm. We certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Then, I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind, hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I... Suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust. 
and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. Well, we could talk for an hour about that. The short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. The badge doesn't carry the same weight on Neon, so you might have to get creative. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. I'll be taking it easy for a couple of days. Need time to heal up. Then, I need to get back up there and keep an eye out for more pirates. I'm hoping to track one of their ships so I can find their hideout. Guess we could both use a little luck, huh? Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neil. Oh, hello. I'm not used to people wanting to talk to me. Oh, it's marvelous. Generally, they only care about efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and reliability. Oh, sure, there are the odd complaints about comfort and lack of decent airflow, but they almost always side with the numbers. Well, all of them. I've been with Mr. Hope since near the beginning. I think he appreciates my attention to detail and my focus on the fundamentals. Although he has been hinting that the R&D budget may dry up if I don't produce results. If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> A marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Security and I have come to a very equitable arrangement, beneficial to all parties. Eh, a little of this, a little of that. Anything we can do to facilitate trade. <laughs> it is true that the Trade Authority is just terrible at inspecting cargo manifests. We really plan on getting better about that, one day. So, do you need anything? I've never been much for offices or a storefront. But here, people from all over the system come here. A true crossroads. I'll take any cargo you want to unload. Looks like another newcomer. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. What, uh, brings you to Hopetown? My friend, I specialize in tricky. 
Well, I heard there's someone at the best defense looking for someone. No idea what it's about. I, I think his name is Suds. Suds? Yeah, you can't miss him. A uh, word of warning, it can get a little rowdy here. Keep your gun holstered and there won't be any problems. And how you'll pay for it. Oh, you just became my favorite customer. You need anything? We got more than booze here. No, it's been pretty boring around here. There's almost always a few visitors here for Hope Tech, but mainly it's all us locals trying to get by. People like to grouse, but truth is Hope Town's the brightest spot on this planet. Deep down, all of us are beyond grateful to Mr. Hope, but the workers work hard and play hard too, so it's best not to drop your guard. Most people come from hard work on the farms, and Hope Tech is light years better than that. But it could be better. Anytime people start getting upset, Hope Tech changes things. But it seems to me they're just doing the bare minimum to keep the workers happy. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Yeah, what you need is a, a change of scenery. A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies, meant for orphans, or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender, I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent-like. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Can't tell one day from the next anymore. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. The system usually works. If you got a bounty nine times out of ten, you're garbage. It's the same damn thing. It's not easy. But I don't kill people that don't need killing. All right, I'm not taking you in. But well, that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. It's the same damn thing, day in and day out. Hey, gotta try to liven things up a little. Whatever you say, Fahim. You almost sound believable. One more drink and it's lift off. Can't, this can't be happening. Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hob. It's just too dangerous. I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one. You're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? 
Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project I've been trying to foster for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind... I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? There were a streak of thefts and accidents leading up to Mr. Kilman's kidnapping. We'd presume they were just bad luck or local fauna. Ixel's not exactly the most hospitable of worlds, but Nevin made it sound as if those bounty hunters might have been responsible for it all. And I was hoping you could confirm if that was the case or not. Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I'm sure it was. I've dealt with trackers. They tend to be... a focused sort. So, only other thing I wanted to ask. And I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work. But I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanities try plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well, those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony. And now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me... As you've seen, there's plenty to be done. You got some good news, I hope? 
Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The, uh, guard standing outside there, he's not gonna let me in. I need you to distract him. Approaching from behind and going for a swift elimination would be effective. But perhaps a bit more permanent than we need right now. I should only need a few moments. So, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. I am reluctant to put that to the test. But it is necessary that we are honest with each other. I know that you said you prefer to be surrounded by others, unlike me. But Constellation means something to us both. And I must be honest about why. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out, until now, is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. They have retreated from open relations with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective, but they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra, and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krejar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the Great Serpent and his inevitable return. Thank you. I doubt many would see it that way. There is a reason I am only just revealing this now. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. Yes, well, you were not the only one. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. Quite an understatement. I was horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council, and the penalty would be severe. You are now the third person within Constellation to know. You and I have spent so much time together, it has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. You have no idea what a relief that is. Thank you for trusting me. Ashtar are sometimes spotted by the farms. That's why we only use robots outside the walls. What brings you to the wall? Boredom? 
Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. And I'm just supposed to take this on what? Faith? I really hope so. I hear you. I... I guess I believe you. Just don't do anything I'll regret, okay? That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Oh, I intend to. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I... I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are, actually. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just... Ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. That... That makes sense. But something's got him riled up. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You wanna join me? <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. All right, you ready to head out there? Okay then. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashta? Why in the world? Shit, you hear that? Eyes up, we got incoming. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an Ashta, they panic. Not you. 
But now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. I was just trying to make life easier for Davis, I swear. Be that as it may, you have potentially made things harder for everyone. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey, what were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much, but not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be her research. Well, it might prove useful. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? I suppose you could. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda... I don't know, pushed him over the edge? Or at least a little too close to it. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? To be honest, I can't believe it's already been that long. Time... Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. 
Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. A bigger, faster Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warnings just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and the heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. We were here specifically to ensure you remain standing. I mean, it does. And it doesn't, you know? We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Looks like I can still learn a thing or two. Thanks again for saving my ass. So, what happened? Really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't trust it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. I need to get to work on this immediately. But... While I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you. Again. Wait. Before you go. My instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands. Or, in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. I love my job. 
So many memories of happy homeowners building new lives. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned.